Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right. We're gonna do a scooter run through Copper Breaks State Park. This is this is this is one of my favorite state parks. It's just a really neat little park. So let me gear up, and we'll we're gonna ride Sable. Notice I made some adjustments, did some rewiring, put a new battery in. Hold on. Because it's super windy today. There we go. Because it's super windy today. I'm gonna have to keep the elevation of the camera low, the, the, the GoPro. Now you folks that are watching on the Insta360, if you get tired of looking at the setting sun, then just move your point of view. All right, those of you that are watching on the GoPro footage, I guess you'll have to squint. We didn't get here until 3.30, and it took me about an hour to get all the way out here to the front, talking about stuff. And so we're gonna be running into the sun. But the wind is gonna be from that direction. So that's better, kind of, I guess. Well, Copper Break State Park is one of the few Texas state parks where you can see part of the Longhorn, the state Longhorn herd. And they're in this pasture here to the south. That's north, that's south, we're heading west. We have a cold front coming in tomorrow. It's like 85 degrees today and it's gonna be 50, 40 degrees, 49 degrees for the high tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be one of them uh, Texas cold fronts. It goes from being really hot wearing shorts and sandals to pulling out the long underwear because the north wind is so cold. I know you folks up in the Great White North, camp, camping family, Fred. I know y'all have already winterized your RV, so I don't mean to rub it in. Now they do have a museum here at the front office, but it is currently being renovated. So I didn't, didn't have much footage from inside the building on this visit. But if you want to see what it looked like prior to the renovation, uh, I was here three years ago, four years ago, and toured the museum. They actually had a very, very nice display. We are about 12 miles south of Juana, Texas named after Juana Parker. If you're not familiar with that name and you're from Texas, you need to go study your Texas history. Juana Parker was a very influential chief. His mother was a captured settler uh, and he led his tribe Hold on, I'm having a hard time seeing where I'm going with the sun in my face. And I gotta go down a big hill. It's a 7% grade. All right, we're gonna zip through the primitive camping area. I'm not going to take you all the way to the fishing dock because the lake is almost dry. 
but we will ride through some of this loop. We have a group day use area over there, restrooms there. There's a swing set. We have a big primitive tent camping area here. And when there's actually water in the lake, now when we were here last time, this was full. But this is the beach. This is the swim area. Oh, heck, we might as well run all the way to the end. It's not that far. I got plenty of power in the new battery. So. We still have to climb a big hill. We're going to have to do some switch bagging to get up the hill. So if y'all are a regular follower of the my scooter run, my scooter videos, or and my bike videos, which one do you like better? Post in the comments down below. What do you like better, the perspective from the scooter or from the e-bike? This is the fishing, the fishing dock. I'll give you a head-on look at that. Ooh, that's, a, that's a strong wind right there. And then there's a trailhead here. Well, that's your trailhead. And then we're looking head-on at the fish dock that's closed due to extremely low lake level. I gotta run against the wind to get us out of here. It's such a pretty place. Caprock Canyons and Copper Breaks have a lot of similarities. going to help us climb the hill. <laughs> we need to do a little ride, a ride through the, the small uh, tent camping loop up here and then we'll, we'll go see some RV camping. This is an international dark sky park. They have an observatory on top of the hill. It's a, it's a basic observatory. Pretty much it's just three concrete pads for you to set up a telescope. These are all tent camping sites with communal water, no power. You do have lantern hooks though, so you can camp in style. When I was here on my last visit, I saw a large flock of turkey here. All right. Now we'll go up to, up on the hill and see the RV camping loop. We're running right into the sun. a bit of wildlife in this part of Texas. I gotta block the sun so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. 
way I can see to climb the hill. Been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dog, but it never adds up at all. Coming around the river bank, the old train was all the same. The very next thing you hear from me, I'm going to I know y'all hate the switchbacks, but it's the only way I can get the scooter to climb the hill. Okay, we're gonna do the RV camping loop from both directions because you can park the ones on the left. You're, if you hit it this way, you're backing in. There's no pull-throughs. If you want to camp on that side, you'll be coming this way. So. We're going to be looking to the left. Uh, I guess we're looking to the right for now. And then we'll look to the left. Yeah, something like that. And then we're looking straight on at the magnificent Trudy Thunder. We have a playground on this camping loop. All the sites are pretty dang level. They all have a covered picnic table. I know it's really hard to see going into the sun. That's why we're going to spin it around and go back the other way. We're right, we're gonna do that right here. Oh, that's bright. You'll be able to see much better now. Both sides. I'll keep you pointed right down the middle of the road and you can look at both sides. Well, that's neat. That's a map. Check that out, the long, long road.com. On my previous visit, I was in one of them. One of these, I think. That one. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's a rough road. 
ride your e-bike. see what it looks like go back to last Sunday 10 a.m. post and that would be the experiential video I show you what those campsites look like all right we'll see some animals before the end of this video. Some wildlife. I will see some deer, some turkey, javelina. I really don't want to see any wild pigs, but you know, if they present themselves, we'll see them. I'm gonna go down the back way. Go in the back way. That way if you're coming in and you're you're in on the other side of the street from where I'm set up, you'll know where to go. So this 
this is actually the second left after you climb the hill. And our camping loop is right over there. This road goes down to a just a turnaround. There's a couple of trailheads down there. All right. That raft is really neat. So that's the long, long Hope y'all enjoyed our, our ride through Copper Break State Park. I sure appreciate you sticking with me until this point. I gotta figure out a better way to hang my helmet. I don't even know if that camera's still running. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by. If you've not already, I'd be, whoop. If, if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who, I'm, I'm, I'm arguing with my helmet here. For those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. I most appreciate you. And for my patrons, thank you. I don't have a cover on, I, I cannot salute you, but I do appreciate you. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?